Welcome to our 17th short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 30th of March, 2021. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues, Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, my colleagues are ready to answer your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions directly in the GoToWebinar tool, which we will answer then directly back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. Surely we, we will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. And as always, this webinar will be recorded and will be uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, our YouTube and our Vimeo channel. Last time, we started with the basics in logical CAD. This included some setting options and of course, the first using of various drawing functions. The aim was to draw a wall connection that we can then use in the, directly in the element construction. Today, we will start to complete this wall connection and for that we need our drawing from the last time. After the last webinar, I've saved it, but I don't want to hide from you how that works here in Logical, so we take at first a look at that. For saving and opening files, you find all you need here in the file menu. This includes, for example, the function add drawing. In this way, you can easily add existing drawings in the Orga Data file format to the existing drawings you have here opened in the CAD. For example, if you have saved some finished components and so on. The same works here with the import functions, but in this case, only with other file formats like DVG, DXF, and so on and so on. Of course, you can also save only parts here, only, yeah, only parts of your drawing. To do this, you simply select the desired components and then save them with this function or export them with this function here. But now I would say I've said enough about that topic and now I want to load the drawing here from the last time. This is wall connection 04 and then we go here on load. Before we load it, I want to want to take a deeper look here in this menu. Besides the fact that you can access all folders on your computer or the company server, Logical offers you here also an integrated logical drawing folder where you can add all the template drawing you have and all the, all the drawing or the subfolders you want to use here. But here are even more advantages. Here you have also a special folder for the project CAD. Here you find subfolders for all the project yeah, you have created in the project management of Logical. This means that you have the drawings sorted directly according to your project. And the best thing is you can open the drawing just like saved reports directly from the project center. So really everything directly available in the project. And now I would say we start here with our drawing from the last time. We load that and uh, yeah, then we have it here in our, in the, in the logical CAD. The drawing name here is directly in the, in the tab. 
And if you already have created or opened another, another uh, drawing, then you have here more tabs. And then you can easily switch between the drawings using these tabs. When we take now a look at our, at our wall connection, there's the question, what is still missing here? And of course, I think at first we want to add here the frame profile. To make it as easy as possible for you, you can load profiles and other articles directly from the Logical CAD out of the yeah, entire article database, which you know from the construction of Log Logical. For this, you take here the function add profile. Here, you can sort for the supplier and for the system and, and or add directly here the article number and very fast we have here the frame profile directly hanging on the mouse pointer what i mentioned several times in the last webinar also applies here if you let the mouse rest for a moment logical shows you in the yellow box which functions are available to you these include of course the possibility to rotate and mirror the object but also the last function is very practical depending on how you want to position the profile you, it can regularly happen that the point at which you want to have the profile on the mouse is here not not ideal therefore you can easily adjust this point with p p on your keyboard we are pressing it and jump directly in an extra menu and here you can change now very flexible the new gripping point. And you can therefore take here one point directly at the profile, or we can use also here the flexible coordinate system. In this example, the profile should be positioned at the outer edge of the wall, but with a distance of 10 millimeters. So therefore we set the origin of our coordination system here exactly at the frame with F9. And then you can easily use the corresponding epsilon coordinate with epsilon minus 10. At first, we confirm the input, then we check the preview here, and then we confirm the preview. And then the profile is already hanging on the mouse pointer but with a 10 millimeter scan. And then not, you have nothing more to do than taking the point you want to use. And you have the profile directly at the right place here in your drawing. In the next step, we want to take the mounting into account. For this, you can, of course, also access here the articles in your database with the function we have just seen. This also includes all the articles you can create by yourself in your own database. At this, uh, at this point, I have a small hint for you. In addition to the databases of various profile and hardware suppliers, you can also find databases of various accessory suppliers for screws and faults in Logical. So, if you're interested, please contact us and we can say to you if your supplier is also yeah, available in Logical. There, but there are two other possibilities to complete the wall connection with the screw. On the one hand, you can, of course, easily import the DVG drawing here, we had seen it before, with the import function. And on the other hand, you have direct access to hundreds of standard parts with a standard article generator you can find here. This includes different types of steel profiles, of timber profiles, and also the screws. For this wall connection, the mounting should only be indicated and therefore a simple cross recessed countersunk should be enough. We take here a diameter of 4.2 and a length of 90 millimeters. 
On the right, you can select which we which which view is to be inserted, and then confirm here the selection with OK. And also here the screw hangs now on the mouse pointer. Also here we can rotate it, and that's what we want to do. We want to rotate it for 90 degree. OK, we accept that. And then we want to change the uh, gripping point here. We take this here at this point, and then we can insert it, the screw here, directly, fast, and yeah, correct. Okay, also this was very easy, and we come now to the next point. What is here missing? The construction foil is missing here. As we had seen the last time with a plaster, yeah, on the same way it works with the foil. We take a look at the drawing functions and see here the function construction foil. We have here some setting options, but um, yeah, we don't want to change them. We want to start with the function. And yeah, it works like we had seen it in the last time. We take here the starting point, then the next point, and if we are finished, escape, and the foil is also here ready. Last but not least, there's something missing between the frame and the wall. And um, yeah, normally there's something like um, yeah insulation or so. And yeah, then we take also here in very easy possibility, we add here in hatch. And we take the function, the easy function, hatch rectangular area. Take here the hatch for the insulation. The first point of the rectangle and then the other point. And also this is finished. Now we see our finished wall connection here. Now we can save it. We had seen in the beginning how that works. Save as um, wall connection 05. And then we can go into the next step. Surely you can print out the wall connection now directly here from the, from the CAD. That's no problem and also very easy. But it would be much nicer if you can take this wall connection direct into account in the element construction. So, and therefore, we close the CAD and open the project which I have prepared here with a small window. To say in advance, what I'm going to show you now not only work with windows, but also with doors and curtain walls. We had opened the position here and go now directly here in the function wall connections. At first, we have to say where we have, where we want to have the same wall connection. Yeah, we take the same on the left, on the right, and on the top. And then we have here the possibility to go directly again in the CAD. So I call it the wall connection CAD. And here we have directly the, the correct combination of our frame pro profile and our sash profile with the right glazing and the glazing bead and so on and so on. And here we have nothing more to do than adding our wall connection with which we have drawn yeah, one minute ago. We take there for the function add drawing, take our drawing here and load it. It is very important then that you try not to draw uh, to rotate our frame sash combination but that you rotate and change the wall connection which you add here and that is what we want to do now we rotate it 180 degree and then we take also another uh, insertion point we take uh, this one here <clears throat> and then you have nothing more to do to take the same point here and when we then scroll a little bit out, 
we see this looks like a really good wall connection. Before we uh, take a look again in the element construction, we have to, to change something more because here are currently still two profiles drawn on top of each other. The frame profiles. One pr frame profile out of our our wall connection, which we have drawn yeah, a few minutes ago, and one out of the element construction. And we have to delete the one which comes out of our, our wall connection. How can we do this? We have simply to mark the profile and um, therefore are various options available. And I would like to discuss them very briefly at this point. To mark individual components, very easy, use here this function. And then you can mark, as example, here the frame. The nice thing, the nice thing about, this, about this is that you can easily click on several object, uh, objects to mark more than one object. Because marked drawing elements remain marked until they are actively unmarked. This unmarking or Deselecting is also very easy. Click again on this ob on this object, or take this last function, des deselect all. So and then nothing more is selected. You can also select all. You can mark all. You can also select in all articles in an area, but we here only want to mark this profile and delete it with a keyboard. Before we now close the CAD, I would also like to show you another options, option that you will only find here exclusively when you are editing the wall connections. By right-clicking here, you can freely add additional items from all existing articles and also take the machinings here directly into account. As an example, let's take here an, an additional article. The window which opens here now, um, you know it from the normal input of elements. This is the yeah the, the normal window when you want to add secondary articles for an element, and here you can add what you want, what you have in your database. Here we want to take an, an angle, you can select the color and so on and so on, and then also add here the article. Also here we have to rotate it and then we can add it here. So you see also the addition, the changing of the wall connection here directly in the wall connection CAD is super easy and super simple. And then we have nothing more to do to go back. And you see directly here in the element input, in the construction of the element, the wall connection. And yeah, so you have the possibility to consider the wall connection individual for each element. And with the, with the saving options in the logical CAD, it is a small matter that you can create yeah, such a kind of library for standard wall connections you need. As you have just seen, you can easily add them to each element if necessary and also change them. So today we have seen how you can easily complete the wall connection drawing and then also, also use it here in the construction of the elements. But yeah, when I take a look on the clock, the 20 minutes are almost over here. And um, also today, we didn't get completely through the CAD either. That's why I've prepared a few more points for the next time that can make your work in the CAD with the wall connection much easier. And there, you will also learn about the advantages of adding additional items in the wall connection, which we have seen here in the last step. So. Be sure to tune in again, it will be very great. But now 
we come really to the end and to the usual hint. If you have further interest, you can simply take part in the following survey and we will get back to you. So let's rock the week together, stay healthy. Until then, bye.